Hi Soul Tribe, welcome to this pick a card reading for Libra season. The question here is what truth is coming to light? And the dragons wanted to come forward to be part of this pick a card. So let's see those three piles that we have for when the sun is transiting Libra. September 22nd to October 22nd, 2024. What do we need to know here with those paths? Ooh, we have Earth Dragon for Pile 1 clears your path and the land around you. Stay grounded, be ready to serve. Stuck energy is clearing, you can move forward in life. Beautiful. And then we have Pile 2 with the Fire Dragon burns up the lower energies around you. You are safe and protected. Be determined and inspired. Clear your soul pathway. Wow, a lot of clearance, huh? <laughs> well, for the truth to come forward, okay? What truth is coming to light? Let's see the last pile. Please, there are dragons. Pile number three. Okay, there we have. The pure white dragon from Orion transforms your ascension knowledge into pure wisdom. Process what you know, act with truth and honesty, let your wings of light grow and expand. Okay, so three dragons. We're going to pull the cards for each and also the zodiac signs. So let's associate the zodiac signs. Some of you, if you want to look at your sun sign, moon rising, north node. All right, pile number one. What do we have for this? Whoa, whoa, okay. All right, let me come back here. What do we have? <laughs> we have Aquarius. Pile one, we have Sagittarius, okay, and we have Taurus and Aries, okay, all right, up, and those here, up, four, yes, four, Scorpio, pile two, Virgo, we have Capricorn, and we have Cancer, beautiful. And the last four, we got Gemini. Oop. We have Libra, we have Pisces and Leo. All right, we're going to prepare the pile. You can look at the timestamp and go straight to your message if you'd like. I'll see you there. Pile number one, let's pick your cards for knowing what truth is coming to light through Libra season for you. Okay, let's see. I just feel one card for this deck. All right. Okay, another one. That's for you, my dear pile number one with Aquarius, Sagittarius, Taurus, and Aries. Pile number two, let's look at your cards. Well, not look at, let's prepare them. <laughs> Why are you so eager, pile number two? <laughs> yes, I know, I know, there's light coming at the end of the tunnel. I thought there was two in there. It just felt very thick. Some of you, you need some clarity for sure. You're gonna get it here. Mm-hmm. All right. And another. And then, oop, I really feel those. I want to come forward for you. Okay, up. That one and that one. 
lot of under the pile, which is usually connected to the shadows, things we don't see. Interesting pile, uh, you know, number two. I'm not surprised now that I'm looking at the spag that Scorpio is there, you know, the messenger between the seen and unseen. All right, and we have those. Okay, that's for you. Pile number two. Again, Scorpio, Virgo, Capricorn, and Cancer. Pile number three. Let's get your cards ready. Okay. Then. Mm -hmm. This one feels like it wants to be seen. And there. Oh, maybe that first one too. Okay. And. All right. That's going to be for you. I don't know why, but I saw this. I barely saw it, but the fact that I saw it a little bit on the screen. Yeah, this one just kind of slid out. Okay, you're going to have extra. There's an extra. I'll remind, be reminded that this is an extra, so I'm going to put it like that. Um, so again, here, Libra, Gemini, Pisces, and Leo. That's you. Pile number three. Pile number one. Let's look at what truth is coming to light through Libra season. So if you chose with zodiac signs, this is for Taurus, Aries, Aquarius, and Sagittarius, and you pick the beautiful earth dragon that says clear your path and the land around you. Stay grounded, be ready to serve. Stuck energy is clearing, you can move forward in life. All right, let's look at your cards. We're going to put this to the side, move a little bit to crystals, and let's look at your cards. We have, ooh, the riddle. Yeah, well, <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Oh, but, you know, we're here to find some, you know, light onto certain truth, and we have a riddle. So, it might be something you were wondering, maybe with, you know, this phase entering, we've had a lot of cosmic shakeup. So, and there's some riddle that is being... Uh, you know, untangled, maybe. Let's see. We have then the temple. Wow. Okay. Let's put it that way. We have the destroyer. Oh, yeah. I told you about entanglement. And the storm. Wow. I... <sighs> Pile number one before I move even anywhere. <laughs> let's talk about this. Okay, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Talk about an energy shakeup here, okay? If you have chosen pile number one, okay, you've been called to break chains, okay? To entangle a certain mystery. Some of you, this probably something about karmic repetition, uh, karmic inheritance, lineage, um, and some type of duty, some type of oath that you signed to be the destroyer of a certain riddle. Almost like something um, that, you know, in your family kept on happening and kept on repeating itself. So for example, you know, it might be um, in your family, there was a lot of um, divorces or they could have been, um, you know, there was no girls, only boys or vice versa. There, just something that was like repeated in the family that had a purpose for a specific lesson. And it seems that you know, the truth that wants to come out here for you in particular is that soul's oath. That you came here to clear a certain entanglement. This entanglement requires for you to go within. It requires for you to be in stillness, meditation, 
but also to connect to your body. Within the body is the solution of this riddle, of this pattern, because in this duality that we're experiencing in this dimension and expression, with every problem comes a solution. And the solution is within yourselves. And we're here. It's interesting because, you know, Libra season here, th that means we have, the, we are honoring the sun. We're honoring the sun in the transit of the zodiac archetype of Libra. Now, Libra, in terms of light work, is here to help us, you know, um, communicate with the subconscious because it has all these dreams of harmonization, of relationships, things that feels perfect or feels in harmony. But how do we manifest this is communication with conscious and subconscious, okay? As we are entering also Libra season, there is the equinox effect that is creating, you know, um, a certain celebration and expression of equal night and day. And I feel that pile number one, one of the truths that you're realizing is that you're here as a karmic chain breaker, as uh, someone that does hold the key and solution to end a certain karmic pattern. You bring, you know, I, every time I, I pull this card, this storm card, I'm like, this is such a beautiful storm because it has so much beautiful colors that come through. And maybe some of you, it, it had to go through the entanglement, the hardship, you know, being in the dark, being kept in the dark, maybe some of you, or having to walk in the dark in order to see your own light. And especially here with this type of color, very high chakra and with the eyes uh, connecting maybe deeper to your ability to see beyond what is. Okay. Uh, some of you, even I would say you might be highly interested in psychology, psychotherapy, anything that has to do with understanding patterns. Okay. There's this, there, and there is this light of truth about this part of your purpose. And it seems that with the groundness of the earth dragon, that this is something that re reverbs into the earth for you. Okay. Yeah. Now, I do want to mention it because I feel it strongly uh, for the ones that connect to this energy with the temple energy. Um, I do cosmic energy alignment sessions and I used to call it the temple and now I call it Starseed Rise Up. It's available. You'll see the details here. Uh, Starseeds Rise Up. And I feel as some of you, there's there, this type of energy work, working with sound, working with frequencies, working with entanglement uh, could be supportive, okay, at this time. Yeah. Right away, I'm feeling called. I'm going to put it for you um, there. Let me just take notes. Um, working with the fascia, the quantum fascia, healing, uh, especially the room, removing the karmic bondage. Okay. That's what I feel, uh, needs to be removed at this time. And that can support this first layer of message. It's, you see here how it has the blue that looks like water and water and earth create yin energy. There's something in that playlist, it works with the structured water of your fascia. You're going to be able to release more and see more of the light of your own truth. Yeah. Some of you that have access also to the goddess Kali. This is for my goddesses rise up. Go and check out the Kali reading. Right, now that we covered this, let's see. I feel that I want to keep it here with... That's almost like a continuation. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see where it takes us. 
We have clarity. Banish the fog of illusion. Open your eyes to the truth. Remember the perfection of who you are. There's something about this, you know, entanglement that was disallowing you in the past to see with this much clarity as the one that is coming for Libra season of your purpose, of the fact that you were always going to stand out, especially in your family, in your community, because of your purpose, of that purpose to break a certain chain of repetition of event and be the destroyer of that journey. Focus on how far you have come, not how far you have to go. You will find help in unexpected places, especially with the unicorn. You know, here I do feel that uh, you probably had to lead a life thus far that was, you know, um, people kind of questioned, questioned your decision and made yourself question also your own decision or your own guidance. The light of truth here that we're seeing is that even if it looked like uh, certain decisions didn't pan out the way you expected or others told you so, um, it was always meant for you to experience in order to get to that level of clarity and depth of your own light, of your own vibration. There's something very strong about you respecting uh, to follow whatever your heart is being called to follow. Nature. Wow, you're so connected to the earth. Dear pile number one. Earth angel, earth guardians. <sighs> yeah. Sometimes all you need is to go outside, breathe the fresh air, to remember who you are and where you want to be. I really feel here this is like a second message about remembering who you are so the light uh and the truth that is coming to light is your truest essence and especially it's remembrance some of you you're going to remember with more clarity yeah i came to shake things up um, I came here not to play it safe, but to play it by my own rules. And the rules that I have, they are heart sovereign. There, you know, it's like, it, it, it's like, you don't have to question the integrity of those rules because they are heart based. I really feel, look at all those colors, very yin energy, a lot of green. Yeah. We also have here discernment. See the truth. Again, all those truth. The truth of your essence, of the situation. Use common sense and do not be fooled. Pay attention. Your intuition knows. You see, just above here, I feel. You can see yourself because of the entanglement. Definitely work with this quantum fascia, especially the karmic bondage. But if you really resonate with it, uh, there's only three there. Uh, removing addictions, uh, removing emotional congestion and the karmic bondage. So those three, uh, that could be very, very supportive for you. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. We want to like rewire, rewire your, you know, it's almost like when you, you come from such an entanglement, a riddle, why are things repeating? Why am I still attracting the same thing? Why is it seems like this is always happening to me? This, this season here, you're bringing the light of truth about this pattern, pile number one. There's, some, there's an alignment, especially for you, that is going to wake up. It, it might be connected to your chart, okay? Uh, but it also might be just, you know, the time. The time of, of, of waking up to your, to your essence, to why you came to incarnate, anticipation, something's wonderful is happening, changes in the air, open yourself to blessings on their way. As you release the 
you know, negative, because here, remember, stuck energy, stuck energy about the old self, the things you used to feel about yourself, oh, I'm not good enough, I am too different, I am not this or too much or not enough of this, you know, kind of like that measuring, okay, you're going to start seeing that you were always in alignment, even in the moments where you felt that you were not, there's some very strong truth about maybe bringing clarity about maybe a past failure, okay? There's some discernment or something that disappointed you that didn't turn out as you want. It could be a relationship. It could be a, car, a career job. It could be anything, okay? Yeah. Love this. Love this. Destiny. I mean, how much greater can we align with this at the end? Acknowledge your mission, Align with your purpose. You have gift to share with the world. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. You see more water? Some of you, you might be connected to Cyrus. There is a Cyrus frequency that I'm also... In case you don't see them here, go into the description box. Okay, because there's a certain amount that I can put up there and then uh, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> okay, but I really feel that there's something about the water element, Cyrus, uh, very feminine energy that you're bringing forward, very connected to the heart, nature, the animals. You might have six house energy also in your chart. Um, yeah. So please go and check it out as well. If you want a specific connection, especially to your mission and reap some type of remembrance of this. Last but not least, let's look at those two cards. We have the increscent moon with the six of keys. I love this because I love the sculpture here the chiseling, there is something definitely for you uh, from the Equinox reading. I'm pretty sure there was a pile that had something about chiseling with spirit, okay? Crafting with spirit. Um, it's about the subconscious mind. There might be something, especially with the moon, okay, uh, that you might want to review. So go and check out this reading if it calls you because you are aligning with source part of your journey was and that's part of the light you you the only way for you to entangle this riddle was to have an awakening of how you're truly connected to source to the divine to the cosmos to the stars some of you there's because there's star family wisdom that is coming strongly forward here oh wow I love this. This wisdom keeper, a new perspective, study and learning. Uh, my dear pile number one, it seems that part of whatever path that you've gone through so far, you've learned a lot. And it's calling you even like, you know, to be in this space of student master, student teacher. You're right now, being called to work with the universe, okay, to let yourself being guided to solve this riddle, this quantum entanglement. I trust that the support that I bring with the frequencies is going to support you in deeper ways. I will have a cosmic alignment energy session available for the sun in Libra. So some of you, if you like to work with this type of concept of aligning to the stars and to the cosmos and soul dancing, okay? That might be, be something yeah, you want to consider, okay? But there's definitely here with this big stone head that you're, you're tapping into an ancient wisdom, an ancient light, remembering your mission, remembering your star family, Remembering a certain connection, a certain oath. Yeah. And how to sculpt it into reality. 
I really feel that there's something here about sculpting with with the universe, a certain um, a specific craft, a specific way to connect to spirit. This is very uniquely yours, okay? And that's why you had to, you know, maybe entangle with people that were not in alignment with this at first. You know, whether it was family, community, schools, whatever. Religion. Yeah. Okay, pile number one. This is the truth that is coming to light for you through Libra season. A deeper understanding of your purpose of your mission on how to create with the universe on what it is that you need to learn and study next that will connect you deeper and more deeply into your own manifestation of your most authentic life purpose reality and ecstasy you know i really hear this word uh at the moment that keeps on coming up euphoria ecstasy bliss you know being on earth but really enjoying it and you're here to break the chains of a certain repetition so thank you for doing this as you do this as you heal this you're helping all the many others that come interaction with you and that benefit from this upliftment of vibration so thank you so much. I'm sending you many cosmic blessings. And please remember to like those videos. It supports the channel to grow. Namaste. Pile number two. Let's see what truth is coming to light for you through Libra season. So if you chose according to zodiac placement, we have Scorpio, we have Virgo, we have Capricorn, and we have Cancer. And the card is the Fire Dragon burns up the lower energies around you. You are safe and protected. Be determined and inspired. Clear your soul pathway. Ooh, I like this. Wow. You know what's interesting is that um, I want to mention this already as a message. When I read the soul pathway, it reminds me of the sacred harmony in the perfect fifth, in both music, but also in your chakra, in your kundalini, where the heart vibrates perfectly in alignment with both your soul and the earth chakra, which is also your mission on earth, okay? So your heart is going to be the gateway. I already feel I want to share this with you, and you see how this is in the back and it's like it brings courage. I'm not surprised also to see Scorpio. Scorpio is connected in um, traditional Chinese medicine to the bladder meridian. And the bladder meridian is connected to bring you courage, to bring you determination. So I feel like there's something here as far as the, the truth that is going to come out uh, through Libra season that is very much connected to your heart, okay? All right, let's see those messages. Okay, let's start with this. We have, ooh, the thread. Huh. We have the rainbow on the other side. Interesting. First time I pulled this card. Dignosis. Beautiful. The underworld. <laughs> wow. And the father. Pile number two already. I feel that this season, okay, with the sun coming into Libra, there's a lot from the past, a lot of the darkness, a lot of the repetition of karmic attraction, of karmic entanglement that is being transcended. 
you know, here with like a contrast. And when I said contrast, I heard contract. Yeah. You know, it's funny when I did this. Okay. It reminded me, this is the, <clears throat> this is the sign, the mudra that in the tarot, the hierophant is holding this connection, sacred connection to spirit. There's, and almost like this is the thread. You're clearing up through your connection to, and again, because in order to be connected to spirit, it's going to be through your heart. My dear pile number two, if you did need to hear this, your heart has been so pure, even through all of those things that I can connect to that may have been really rough experiences, you know, deep, deep emotions that you had to experience. And the only thing that got you always to overcome, to stay afloat, not to drown, was your heart's thread to your soul, to the divine. Because you see here, it's almost like that. It's like engulfed. Engulfed. And with, I don't know why I'm seeing this. I don't even know if what I'm seeing is, is, is what is there. But I feel like this is almost like an ink stain. You know, and like asking those psychology tests as if maybe some of you, your mental health was part of the challenge. It seems like here with the gnosis that there is a moon in the background in that sacred geometry. You may have had to learn how to work with the cycles of the universe. Maybe especially with how this rainbow finally gets out with this bird, okay? It had to go through a whole, uh, you know, repetition in order to finally get out. There's a coming out of karmic repetition here. Now, with the underworld, I feel that, and, and this connection here, you may have had a lot of insecurities and safety, uh, not feeling protected. And again, whenever you came back to the divine, whenever you let yourself pray again, invoke uh, divine intervention, angelic assistance, is when you got uplifted, especially with the father. I know, you know, it's, I don't like to uh, put a gender on source energy, but it is common uh, in our society to talk of the father. Maybe some of you also, there was some uh, high connection to your father that helped you uplift a love for your father, but it doesn't have to be. Again, this is a general reading, but there was, there was a certain love, even if it was not for a parent, it's a love that almost like of something beyond yourself. As if you knew there was something beyond all that you had to clear. Definitely here, pile number two. I, uh, you know, I have a lot of reverence for what I see you have achieved. You know, maintaining that heart frequency through this type of, of, of mental and emotional contrast, okay? And that means like the depth, as high as you can go, as deep as you had to go, okay? And you see all this fire? It's, it's as if, you know, I have a lot of quotes that talk about, you know, in order to see how bright one's shine is, you have to go through the darkness, I can see that some of you, you did not realize, and that's one of the truth that's coming out to the light to you first, is how bright you've always shone, but you couldn't see it. You couldn't see it before. And 
because you didn't see it, there was probably a lot of, you know, subconscious reaction patterns that were created around you for this type of energy that you brought naturally because you brought this naturally because of this innate connection to source, to spirit. You didn't really try. You just was born with it. You know, just like children have it and some kind of lose it more or so, or, you know, that um, it goes like behind the mind or people just forget as they grow older. You always have that connection. You maintain that connection and that kept your aura shining bright. But I feel that until you were going to see that light within yourself, that cycle would have continued. And this is the truth that's coming to light with this Libra season. You're finally seeing your light and clearing all of the experiences from the past that made you finally aware of how beautiful this light is, the courage, the determination, the inspiration, being inspired is to be connected to spirit. Some of you, you may have always been like very motivated or have that natural inclination to be inspirational. People always felt motivated around you. That's because of your connection to source through your heart. Okay? Yeah. That's, that's one layer that I really feel uh, of message that you need to hear at this time. Okay. You know, I find it very interesting. I'm going to mention it. Um, in the subconscious mind frequency that I have, and that might be something you might want to review, I work with uh, Gnostic, not Gnosis, but Gnostic mantras, and one to open up the gateway between the subconscious and the conscious mind. I feel that there might be some messages for you, pile number two, with this frequency. I also have a pick a card reading. There might be more messages if you'd like. It might be posted here or not because I suggest a couple of things and there's a certain amount I can post on the video. So if you don't find it here, you'll find it in the description box. Okay. All right, so let's put this aside. I feel I want to keep it here. Not sure why, but we'll see. Okay, pile number two. What truth is coming to light? Change. You are transforming. Let go of the past. Embrace the light and joy of this new day. Libra season is very transformative for you, pile number two. Highly transformative. Yes. Coming out of a dark phase, if that's you, that's definitely, you're going to reap the rewards. This a lot, you know, like the pot of gold <laughs> with the rainbow. Partnership, learn to grow with others, overcome obstacles by working together, touch each other's hearts while life lasts, okay? I feel that, you know, what we said about relationships and you shining bright, maybe in the past, you might have attracted some relationship that was dimming your light or they had competitiveness, but now you're going to shift your relationship as you start honoring your light, only through self-love. For you, pile number two, it seems very important for you to nurture uh, that relationship, not just with a spirit, but almost like with what spirit has been giving you and what you've been doing for yourself and for others and, 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 and seeing this as, as an achievement, as something that is worth celebrating, this is going to shift your point of attraction that I see before, you know, was repetitive, um, that you're finally getting and stepping out from. We also have creation. Remember your thoughts shape your future. Your words create today. Your choices become your reality. Remember when I said there might have been a lot of mental anguish, especially with this, you know, overwhelmed by the amount of darkness uh, maybe that you had to experience. And when I mean darkness, you know, you can interpret it as whatever was the contrast, you know, uh, that you had to experience 
And you know what is beautiful is that no matter what, pile number two, I can feel it. You always came back to your heart. Your heart was the key to have this thread, this connection. Know it. Own it. This is your, almost like this is part of this truth. This is a special gift. And you have that. Honor it. Honor that your heart has been able to keep you afloat with that connect, divine connection because of your heart not closing itself. You have union. You have seen and unseen allies. Draw upon their strength. Join forces with friends and flourish. Definitely here some beautiful new attractions for you, pile number two, uh, that are more in union with this version. I feel that you're very um, uh, like warrior of light type of energy, soul warrior, uh, wounded healer. Um, and you're going to be attracting more people that are like this, that did not close their hearts through the darkness, um, through their contrast that was, were always there to help others. This is going to feel really rewarding in Libra season to see this as a mirror effect. Yeah. Expectation. See, that's something. Be open for whatever comes next. It might just be the music your heart's been waiting to hear. I wouldn't be surprised. That's something you've always wanted, you know, to be seen. Because you know what? You were seen in the past, but the people that used to see this light, they were feeling all like you were probably so bright that it would make them feel um, that they had to change, they had to do better. Um, because when you're connected to your heart this way and connected to spirit, you always have this, this pull towards you know, knowing yourself, bettering yourself, expanding yourself, you know, life wants to support life. And that could have been um, something that others around you didn't want to do. They were not interested. They might have been interested more in the status quo or what they had uh, or what was more rational to go and achieve, go and seek. Versus you have here a, 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 a depth that is very spiritual. Okay, definitely very spiritual pile here. Number two, rebirth. No matter what happens, you can find new wings. Arise from the past. Accept the positive change that is coming. You, you're, you know, here with this energy, you might have been someone that has gone through many rebirths to be at that level. Okay, and you see here how this two phoenix, there's a card of union. I really feel that you're attracting people that are um, at least knowledgeable of this process, that honor this process, that support you in this process, that also celebrate you in this process. You know, I feel like there's going to be more and more celebration in your partnerships. You know, as like a team, you know, it's almost like rooting for each other for bettering ourselves, you know, not so much with the achievements, but more like the expansion as an achievement. Yeah. Dignity. Take pride. You see how it's like, take pride in all that you have become. Take pride in yourself and all that you have become. Feel honored by your choices, achievements and actions. Okay, so it's saying like even those achievements, like be like there's celebration that wants to uh, to be to be revered, we've revered to be you know it's just like it's something that when you take almost like accountability for okay this I I've learned this from this I've learned this I've learned this I've learned this through this dark phase I've learned this you're going to realize have you've always been a soul alchemist you've always been knowledgeable about how to turn your deepest darkness into gold okay that I feel like this is part of your highest truth that's going to come out to yourself and to others is your power of alchemy. Mm -hmm. We also have here Archangel Gabriel. 
No, Archangel Gabriel is connected to, uh, when you work with the direction of the universe, is connected to uh, the descending line, which is your relationship with others. So another confirmation, which I'm very happy for you, pile number two, um, because those first layers of messages, you know, there was a lot of darkness around you, uh, an unawareness of your light, an awareness of how brave and courageous, determined, inspired you were. And now there is this type of claim uh, to your to your achievements that the universe wants you to uh, receive through your partnerships, through others, because it's the descending. You're going to, uh, some of you, if you have clients, like if you have your own business and you have clients, you're going to attract lots of clients that are going to reflect to you this progress and change in yourself, this metamorphosis. This is going to taste so good. I can feel it. And then you have scrying. Trust your visions, intuition, plan seeds. Wow, I love this. You see all this activation in um, the crown. You know, the crown, when we work with Kundalini and the planets, there's the sixth chakra and there's yin and yang. So you got 12 zodiac signs. And then the crown is actually the lotus flower where you bloom. And we know like the lotus flower comes from this, flourishes from the mud, from deep mud. I really feel that you were always connected, just like the scrying, you had visions, okay? And some of you, that's part of the truth that's coming to light. Your visions are manifesting. What made you hang on all those years? It's going to be revealed more and more so. You're going to have confirmation more and more so that you always um, were supported, were guided, but you were, you were right. You were right to follow this path. Yeah, there's a lot of humility that I, I, I feel from you, pile number two. This is so beautiful. Thank you so much for having such depth you know, that you're bringing and also, um, you know, this type of relationship that you're finally manifesting. I really feel that this is going to be so glorious and joyous. So thank you for experiencing this because that's going to be awe-inspiring to others as well. Some of you know that this, if this is really a speaking to you and you'd like uh, some support, I do offer cosmic alignment energy sessions that are connected to all those shifts. So I will have a sun in Libra or that Libra season uh, cosmic energy session. If some of you are interested, that's for the star seed rise up YouTube star family. This is going to be described there. So thank you so much. Pile number two, I'm sending you many blessings. Please remember to like those videos. It supports the channel to grow. Namaste. Pile number three, let's look at what truth is coming to light for you through Libra season. So if you chose with your zodiac sign, we have Pisces, Leo, as well as Libra and Gemini. Now, there was a special card, okay? But the one that you chose is the pure white dragon from Orion transforms your ascension knowledge into pure wisdom. Process what you know, act with truth and honesty, and let your wings of light grow and expand. What beauty this card is, really. All right, let's put this to the side and let's look at your card. So let's see this special card here. <gasps> Whoa. This is so intense. The seed. Look at this, this pearl that was created out of the many, 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 many <laughs> cycles of repetition. Oh my. Look at this. It seems like this is what shines the light onto it 
Some of you, I want to mention it, you might be connected to Orion. Oh, I have to write this for myself, you guys, because I have to create more of those starseed music. Okay, I have the Pleiades already on my list and I need to create Orion. I do have the scales for those connections to those uh, star systems. Um, so just pay attention to that. I'm going to put the playlist. If it's not here, it's going to be in the description box below as far as the playlist called the Starseed Music Activation here because you're connected to um, really that growth from Orion is very, very knowledgeable about the wisdom of the mind, you know, how to control the mind, mind control, okay, so obviously making sure we're not using this just for self-serving purposes, but also to put it for humanity, okay, so there's something here, there's some teaching of the mind, okay, how to control your own mind, how to control your focus, I feel that it's coming to light here, and you're, with this specific, we'll see what message is, but with this specific pattern, okay, there's a specific seed you're planting at this time with this Libra season, you're planting something, okay, that is almost the result of those many, 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 many okay, you got it, cycles, <laughs> Okay, we have the bridge. Wow, look at this. I love, love, love. I mean, I feel so much love here. So much love. The many repetition. You've rehearsed your mind. Maybe some of you, you had to really rehearse uh, taking control over your focus to get to that level that connects you back to your heart. You know, not letting the mental chatter override your heart. The lover, another pearl. And this time we have, we have the white pearl, we have the golden pearl, okay, yin and yang. You see, how, I, I felt it. It's almost like you had to overcome uh, the challenges from your mind and through, you know, taking back charge of that focus, you were able to find the peace, the grace to have proper hard mind coherence. And you would find that, that th this almost like gives you new wings Wings of how to navigate this journey with more grace. This is part of the truth that's coming to light, okay? Uh, how to navigate for Libra season, how to navigate this journey with more grace, okay? The flame. Oh, my God. This is, I can't with you. Like, I pile number three, like, look at this. It's almost like everything's shining upon you. Shining, shining, you're shining. Shine, shine, shine. Wow, um, I would definitely suggest to uh, look into the past season. I think it was Virgo season that had a glow up. Was that? Yeah. I will find it and I will put it either here or in the description of file number three. But there's something connected to your glow up that has to do with, with this. Because remember here, there's some type of... of uh, knowledge turn into wisdom so you you've you've worked on yourself through this short amount of time through like a season through a month and it's bringing so much love blessing i can feel it glow it's almost like your aura you're shining light and love and then we have the hunter look at this uh, you're Light is coming from every which way. And I would say that some of you, like what you, what is one of your biggest glow up, even if it's not part of uh, the messages that you receive from one of the picker cards, your biggest glow up was to um, integrate your shadows, communicate with your shadows. Some of you, you might be um, invited or something that you already are doing, but work with candle magic. And what I mean by candle magic is 
Um, you might be able to read fire to see messages through flame or just it's a way for you to tune into a meditative state. I remember I could not meditate for the life of me because of how shot my nervous system was from many, many injuries, accidents, chronic pain. I was just shot. As I had spontaneous Kundalini awakening and, and, and just had transformation altogether, I started meditating with candles like intuitively. And I remember it was really easy for me to just like tune into looking at the flame to put me into that state that would quiet my mind, okay? Because I feel like there's something here from quieting your mind in order to find hard mind coherence, speaking to your shadow, speaking to your pain. You're going to make through Libra season some type of you're going to turn it into something, okay? And we're going to see what are those messages. I, I do want to mention, because some of you, you might have businesses. It might be a course. It might be a workshop. It might be uh, a movie, a song, a book. There's something you created out of this experience. It's not just like the last month, but it's almost like you've been compounding on this experience in this on this knowledge to turn it into wisdom. You're going to apply it at the next level through Libra season. Okay, so that's the first part of that message. I feel like I want to keep the flame and the seed here. I feel this is kind of... Um, it's almost like this, um, your connection to yourself, to your own aura. There's something about your aura that you need to always nurture. You know, your aura is your health, is your wealth. Some of you, there might be something in my playlist called your auric health and wealth that you might want to check out because there's something here as far as your aura and maintaining its light through Libra season. Um, if you're searching for support for this, you might want to look at this. Okay, that was going to be listed here or in the description. Right, let's look at the next cards we have. The pilgrimage. You are on a journey to your own greatness. Your soul is longing to find the way. Only you can choose your path. See, pilgrimage. Definitely had like some type of awakening. Maybe through the mental repetition, chatter, uh, you know. This led you to this type of activation. Action. Stop hesitating. Movement creates the magic. Nothing can hold you back. Some of you, if you're interested, I do connect to the muse. With this one, with the word movement, you might want to connect uh, to the muse of dance and movement named Terpsichore. I do have a reading for her for the Soul Tribe membership called The Goddess Rise Up. Okay, then we have happiness. Immense delight can be found in the smallest of things. Cultivate fluttering moments of joy. Hmm. You know what's interesting here is that I feel like here, this is more like uh, going within, then acting, then enjoying. There's a lot of, it, it's almost like with the Orion uh, also energy, I feel that you're someone that once you put your focus into something, you can totally cancel out all distractions. You can, you know, uh, be waking up in the morning and go straight to your meditation. You're not wasting time. You know what to do. You're sitting yourself. You're quieting. And then straight, boom, you, you're out of your meditation. You go and you get ready for the day. And some of you go and work out. Then boom, your next phase, you're, you, you, you play affirmation 
affirmations, you recite affirmation, you're like maintaining your joy, you're pumping yourself for having a great day and making sure that you send that energy throughout your whole entire uh, creation of that day. You're conscious manifester. Pile number three, this is something that is coming to light and you're going to reap the rewards from this type of, of activation. Again, I feel that some of you, it could be even how you starting to plan your day, uh, meditate, working out, affir affirmation, gratitude, whatever. There's some, I feel some type of words so you can ground the now energy and sanctuary. Embrace the need for solitude. Your inner sanctuary calls you. Renew yourself and thrives. And then pshht, go back in. You know, it's almost like, I really feel like it's like, you're, you feel like a creator, like a starting to be, and I think that, remember that, where is that? Yes, the, the knowledge into wisdom, pure wisdom. You're starting to ride your day as if nothing can really affect you because you're consciously present for yourself. You're consciously uh, acknowledging some of your needs of your body, of your mind, of your heart, of your soul, spirit. Like there's in that thing, this is what you're turning, that's becoming a wisdom. You're living your life consciously uh, through Libra season. That's very, very strong here. Strength is gentle. True kindness has wings. Love in action endures. And I feel that even through this, this whole thing, um, you're able to be there for others. There's a, there's service. Remember, there's something that you're going to offer. There's some type of offer that you're manifesting through Libra season. And it's the truth of it. The, maybe some of you are wondering, like, what's the content of it? Like, what is it? Like, and the what is it is going to be found through Libra season. I'm going to mention it for you, pile number three. With every pick a card reading, there is an activation, especially when they link to astrology movement, okay? I connect this to a cosmic alignment energy session. So some of you, if you're looking for uh, support to align this knowledge into pure wisdom, I'm going to have, I already have a lot of things that are getting confirmation here um, as far as the template of this energy session. Okay, and that is supportive of this integration. Again, if that resonates with you. We have then the Queen of Keys. Look at the conscious creator that you are. She's, she's like dreaming how she's going to create this kingdom, queendom, this landscape. What is outside of the castle? There is a book here. There is a book also with the... Um, I don't know why it says the queen of keys, but in my mind, I had the queen of reflection in my mind. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe some of you, you, you've been journaling for years or when you journal, there's like automatic writing. Keep on writing. Keep on writing your aspirations. Keep on writing your goals. You're literally designing your, your creation, what's coming next for you feel it's very very strongly through maintaining this type of lifestyle that's like in out in out in out you know beautiful dance and then we have not forgotten messages from spirit unbroken connection um i feel that again some of you when you start writing you might be connected to uh, in angelic consciousness, goddesses, muses, they're going to inspire you. This is why actually some of you that have, uh, you know, access to those goddesses, muses, readings have been telling me I'm on fire with them because I've been working with those energies for over a year plus just by myself and sharing this energy and how much it inspires one, oneself, oneself. It's just making me so happy. It's making me so happy. And that's something that, you know, um, you might have just connection to it. Just research the muses, research the angels, research the archangels, research uh, whatever uh, feels connected. I do believe that 
for some reason, I also saw Ganesh. I do not know how that was happening. But my, my eyes, when I looked at reverse, I saw an... Oh, yeah, reverse. Do you see the elephant? Okay, now I'm like, cause when I hold it upright, I was like, I'm not sure I see the elephant. But some of you working with Ganesh may be highly supportive. There seems to be a gate here. There may be part of this offer, part of this wisdom. This is something also that you're a channel for. Okay, so maybe um, the wisdom, the knowledge that you had was the heart-mind coherence in order to now start to script with the universe something that you're meant to channel for others as part of your gift for humanity. Yeah, I know that's like really deep pile number three. <laughs> But again, you have like, you have a connection with Orion, you know, it's, it's star constellations like that. Um, that's not a small message. Definitely not. Okay, my dear pile number three, that's what I have for you. I trust this supported you. If it did, please remember to give videos a thumbs up. It supports the channel to grow. Sending you many cosmic blessings. Namaste.